Want some? Ew. Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here. And today I'm back with a new series. So today I'm going to do a yay or nay series. And I have a special guest today. Come on in. Hi. This is my daughter, Adia. You guys have heard a lot about her in my hauls. So uh, I wanted to bring her on today to do this series with me. She will probably be in this series going forward. So I'm very excited to bring you guys this series. And I'm kind of in a new background today. I'm actually out on my sun porch that you guys have been hearing about forever. Um, it's almost done, so it's almost ready to be revealed. And I will show you guys that as soon as I'm done. And today, Adia is the day of the giveaway. <gasps> <laughs> Yay. Yay! So after we do these reviews, I'm going to have Adia pick the name and we will reveal the winners after this. So stay tuned for that as well. Also, real quick, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can join the squad and make sure you don't miss any of my videos by hitting the bell as well. And that way you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now let's get into the review. All right guys, so basically what yay or nay is, it's going to be uh, Dollar Tree reviews on products that we've purchased, recent purchases. So it's either going to be a yay or a nay. So we will both decide and again, this is only our opinion. This doesn't mean that maybe you won't like the product or things like that, but this is just kind of to give you guys some help if you are looking to purchase these products. And uh, a special thank you to Myra Gomez who did mention this in the comments before. So thank you so much for the idea. And we hope that you enjoyed the series. Um, and we'll look to, you know, kind of do this every, at least every month or so, or maybe every couple weeks. We don't know yet, but just keep an eye out for it. All right. Katie, are you ready to yep. review? Okay. So the first product we already did review, which was requested. So it is this charcoal eucalyptus soap and it is plant-based and sulfate and paraben free and it's vegan. It smells really good. What do you think? It smells really good. It smells good. It kind of smells like a man. So like a, a man, man soap. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of does. It has like that man smell, um, yeah. cologne kind of smell, I guess. But I really liked it. Um, I thought it rinsed off very well. It was very sudsy. And when you washed your hands, they felt very clean. And the soap came off very nicely. So I give it a yay. What do you think, Adia? It was very smooth. And like she said, it was also very sudsy and very clean and it did rinse off easily also like you said. So I also give it a yay. So two yays, all right, so that was good. And I'll show you just guys uh, what it looks like real quick. I kind of stuck it back in the box just so you can see what it looks like that. And we recommend, it worked really well. So that was a great review. And let's go to the next thing. Um, also, we did try these Dental Guru uh, toothbrushes. I had mentioned um, I wasn't sure if the bristles would be soft because previously uh, when I tried charcoal toothbrushes, they were really hard and I didn't like it. Um, but these have soft bristles. So for me, I gave this a yay. I thought this was great. They were soft. Uh, it didn't feel like you were using like a charcoal infused toothbrush. Usually those are really hard. But for me, I really liked it. I thought it felt like just a normal toothbrush. And what did you think, Adia? I also liked it and I also liked the soft bristles because I've also used charcoal toothbrushes and the bristles were really hard. But the big thing for me was I was worried it would taste bitter from the charcoal, but it doesn't taste like anything. It's yeah. just like a normal toothbrush. That's a good point. So it does, it doesn't taste like anything guys. Like you could use your normal toothpaste on it and be completely fine and not even know it. So the fact that it is a charcoal infused toothbrush is awesome because you don't even know that it is infused with charcoal at all. So that's a yay. yay. <laughs> all right, next is we're going to try, let's try out a couple of these pens, Adia. What do you think? Sure. All right, so do you want to open those? I have these. So I want to see how these pens write. Um, this is Gelosity. 
and it's these two it's a two pack of these pens it says smooth writing gel pens vivid colors and it looks like this I did haul these before so you guys will have seen these products but I just wanted to review them with you and let's try the purple so it just clicks like this it's a regular pen and here's the paper so let's try it out Oh, it writes super smooth, Adia. What do you think? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a good pen. Right? So it looks like this. <laughs> it's very smooth. It writes really neat. Um, and it feels like it writes smoothly to me. You could give it a try. What do you think? Yeah, it's super smooth. I love it. Yeah, so it writes really nice and it works really well. So I recommend these. These are a good find. These are big name brand. So that's cool. So what do you give these? Yay or nay? Okay. Yay. Me too. So far, so good, right? Nothing crazy? Sorry, I'm having a little trouble oh, opening it. That's these. okay. Okay. So guys, these were the 3D pens that I had mentioned before. Um, I hauled these previously. It looks like this and it's a 3D pen. It says they look like it's a 3D effect. So I wanted uh, Adia to write these to see how they work and see if it really does give a 3D effect. Here's a close up of one of the pens. Very nice. Hopefully it writes well. It doesn't really look like a 3D effect. Oh, and, oh, so, she wrote this and it looks like the way if you angle the pen a different way it doesn't do the 3d effect yeah. so if you look at the lettering there you can see kind of it writes very smooth it does write smooth yeah but it looks kind of weird it just looks like so i wonder colors. so it's really hard to actually write with the 3d effect as you can see i just tried it myself uh-huh yeah what's up i hold my pen weird though so that might have something to do with it because yeah i tend to hold it like towards the sharper side no that, that makes, makes sense. sense but i even try writing it with like normal i guess if no, you write cool. yeah i mean <laughs> so basically you have to write like up and down like this yeah in order for it to work so it looks like that so you can't hold it like a regular pen, otherwise it won't work. Um, so I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a fun thing to use, I guess. But for me, I think I would say nay. What do you think, Adia? Yeah, it's a nay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like with a with a pen, you could kind of do this anyways yeah. yourself. I guess it's kind of cool to have and try out, but eh. yeah. for me, I would I would probably pass unless you want to give it a try but it's especially hard for me to use because i can't even hold a pen normal in the first place <laughs> right so like if you are you know especially if you have like arthritis or something and you can't hold a pen a certain way or anything like that things like that can affect it too so you might as well just make the 3d effect yourself yeah um so that's a nay first yeah. nay all right so let's try out these wrapping paper cutters so i bought i hauled these in a couple of my hauls and um in a couple of my hauls a couple hauls ago and you'll be able to see that i purchased these wrapping paper cutters so i want to make sure these work especially for christmas so i got two sheets of wrapping paper um adia will be trying one and i will be trying the other so let's open these and i will give you one and then you can have one color and i'll take the other and we'll see how they work so the purpose of these is to make sure they cut in a straight line and that they cut easily. I'm sorry if you hear thunder. It is thundering out, although it's sunny. So that's really strange, but there's that. Maybe you will be okay, Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's give this a try. So here's the cutter and let me try. Actually, you know what? How does this work? Oh, you have to put it in an angle. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Not see. working. That's hard to use. How's yours? It's still working on it. I can't. It doesn't cut oh. very 
smooth hugging. It doesn't. It's hard because you have to keep it in an angle. And I guess because we have sheets of gift wrap, maybe not on the roll. It's hard, but it's <laughs> this is tearing. So, Adia, show them when you try to cut what happens. Okay. This is what happens. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Yeah, hold it up a little, I think. There you go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it that's just, really weird. It just tears. <laughs> so, mine does... Mine is kind of like that, too. I feel like the blade is in the wrong spot. I know. It should be, like, right here. Yeah. So, like, if it was in like this spot like then you could just go go down but this you have to kind of I guess if it's on a roll maybe it's easier but you have to maybe. angle it so it's like on the blade like this so I guess that works yeah so all well, yours is tearing hers yeah. is tearing <laughs> um but I think it will work if you put it right on the blade and you have a wrapping paper roll and you kind of have a hold of it you can kind you know it will automatically cut it for you if you're using this but it's not the easiest thing to use I would say I would probably say nay for these unfortunately I I don't know though so maybe uh, depending on if it's on a, a wrapping paper roll or something but I would say that these you have to angle just right otherwise they won't cut so I'll give it a nay for that because it's not as simple as just bringing it down what do you think I definitely give it a nay because, like she said, you have to angle it, and that's difficult. Yeah. And also, I have difficulty cutting wrapping paper <laughs> anyway, and this just makes it worse. Okay. So, <laughs> so a nay for that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. I really wanted to use these mm -hmm. at Christmas. Maybe I will still try them out, but for now, that's a nay. All right. So let's give these knives a try. So here is the cutting board. This, this comes with the different blades. I'm not gonna try every single blade, but I am going to try one and then I'll have Adia try the other one to see if they work. Um, whoa, be really oh. careful, they all fall out. <laughs> but let's try to put this blade in. All right, so we have this blade here. I will say it's a little tricky getting it in, so you basically have to unscrew this top part here so it unscrews and then you have to stick the blade into this purple piece so that's kind of interesting um i don't know it's a little bit difficult to get the blade in but i am going to give it a try so i mean it wasn't that difficult to get in it was just kind of hard to figure out initially that's true that's true so here's a piece of cardboard let's see how it cuts I kind of cut through so let's try again it's so it looks like mark. this that's a good sign all right so we'll hold this up here and if you cut like this so it doesn't cut all the way through so it made a little bit of a mark there so Adia you give it a try and see how you like it maybe it's made for paper yeah, maybe. It could be made for paper. I'm just going to do it like this. Uh -huh. Oh, so you got, if you put more pressure on it, it worked, right? Yeah, it cut all the way through. Okay, so maybe you just have to put more pressure on this. So let me give it a try again. Mine is not cutting all the way <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> I could be weak. I don't know. Um, but that didn't seem to work for me. Let me try to put in the other blade and see how that one works. So see guys, you pull this out and this is the purple piece. And then you basically take the blade and let's see what blade to use here. We'll use the X-Acto knife blade, the one standard one. So you pretty much just put this in here like this. All right, guys, so Adia did get this in for me finally. So I will say that this is very difficult to get in um, once you take a blade out and switch it out, unless it's just this one in particular that's ours. Uh, but this was super hard to get in. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try to cut with this one now. So let me try to do it while you guys can see. 
but let's try to cut this. So I'm putting a lot of pressure. Yeah, so that cuts pretty good. So that cut uh, right through the cardboard. So you do have to put some pressure down on it. Um, I will say though, this cutting uh, board thing, this piece back here, the cutting mat, works really well. So this is like perfect for little crafts and things like that, so I do recommend this. But yeah, so I would say horrible at <laughs> putting blades in and out of this. It's not easy. Um, Cut-wise, okay. So what do you think, Adia? I, it was very difficult to get in and it went under one layer of my skin, so you know, <laughs> that's not good. Um, it's an A for me, just buy an X-Acto knife. <laughs> Yeah, so I would say difficulty wise, this would be a nay for me. Cutting wise, yeah, it works. Um, if you put pressure on it, I think that's fine. So I guess it's a yay nay for me, but I think it cuts fine as long as you put pressure on it. But the changing of the blades itself is just a pain. Like it, it is so difficult to get these blades in and out, at least with the one that we have. Um, so you guys could give it a try, but it's good to have these different blades. I thought that was cool that you could switch them out. However, if switching them out takes forever like that, I don't know. Um, but it is pretty difficult to get them in and out. But again, that could just be like the one that, that I got. Uh, yours could be different. So there's that. Um, next, we wanted to review this calendar. So these dry erase calendars have been out for a couple of years now, I would say. Uh, but I want to see if it actually, you know, erases the dry erase marker from the calendar. Because sometimes, yes, they say that it will, but it doesn't. So, Adia, can you hold that for me so I can pull the marker out? Yes. All right. Pretty large. It is really large. So, can you hold this side so we can show everyone? Yep. All right, so basically, um, this is what it looks like. I did haul this in a previous haul. It's huge, and you can use it on like a command center or something, or hang it up, you know, just for scheduling things if you need to remember a schedule. Uh, and it doesn't have any years on it or anything, so you can do it for whenever. So let's see if um, if you can. You might need to hold it a little high. Yeah. So I'm just writing on it for so. Let's see, so there's the dry erase portion. It comes with its own dry erase marker. I will say if you don't close these tight, that they will dry out and they won't work. Um, so make sure when you're closing it, it's closed tight. It does not have, this one doesn't have a magnet. Oh, or does it? No, it was just <laughs> sticky. <laughs> so, all right, so let's see if this erases. Wow, that erases really well. That comes right off, so that's awesome. Um, usually, you know, if you get these kind of products and things like that, it's the er eraser doesn't work well and it doesn't come off and it leaves it all smudged. But this one, the surface of it, it works really well. So I recommend these, these are nice. You can pretty much put anything on it you want. And I thought that's great. It also comes with all these stickers that you can stick on it like a, a planner. So that's a really great find. And I'm sorry if I'm, if I look really hot, I am. It's pretty muggy out, right, Adia? Yeah. Um, but, all right, so I think, yay. I think that's great. It's a good size, it's a dollar. It doesn't have the years on it and it comes with a dry erase marker and it erases perfectly. What do you think? I also think it's a yay because mm -hmm. like you said, you can use it any year. Um, it erases well. Yeah, the yeah. only thing that might be bad about it is, well, one, it's really big, but that's not really a bad thing. Yeah. But the other thing is if you write it on it for like, you know, a few years, then it might start to like stain, if that makes sense. That's true, yeah. But it's yeah. a yay for me. I think so too. For a dollar, you can't beat it. And if you need to replace it, just replace it, right? So uh, hopefully they have these around for a while. I've seen them for the last couple of years, so I think they'll be around for quite a bit. Um, and now we are going to try the rub-on transfers. 
So I promised you guys a long time ago in a haul that I was going to put one of the rub-on transfers on one of these glass bottles. So I want to keep oil in here and stuff like that for cooking. So Adia, if you want to show first, I guess, show this is the rub-on transfer it came in. So that's what it looks like, the rub-on transfers. And the back says, cut out the letter design of your choice with scissors, peel off the white backing paper. Place the letter design with the adhesive side down onto the desired smooth surface. Rub firmly and several times and then remove the transparent sheet slowly to checking that the design has transferred. So it's kind of like a temporary tattoo. It but is. With no water. <laughs> right. So we're going to give it a try on here. Fingers crossed because I really hope this works because it'll be really pretty. So <laughs> I'm hoping it works. So we'll have Adia is going to test this out. This is the sticker. Oh, yeah. It's says using. Bon Appetit. Yep. So I want to put just like olive oil in here or something. So I'll have her stick it on and let's see how that works. All right. Okay, so we're going to just rub this on and hope it works. <laughs> okay, hopefully it works. Let's see. Try to get it with my nails so it will hopefully stay on better. Do you think that's good enough? Yeah, let's okay. give it a try. I'll try to peel it off as carefully as I can. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, okay. Sorry guys, this might be really slow. Oh no, part of the T. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That didn't really work. <laughs> that might take a, lot, a little bit of practice too. Yeah, the B and the O looked good, but the rest kind of just fell apart yeah <laughs> all right guys so Adia was rubbing that from qu for quite some time I didn't show the whole thing but uh, take a look so that's what it looks like now these do take some practice I heard so that could just be because we just weren't used to it that was the first time we had ever tried these but I do think that these probably work well and that would be really cute you know it'd be really pretty if it was able to transfer on so maybe you just need to rub it for a while um i am going to have adia try one more and it's going to be on wood instead of glass so we'll see how that works so um i did buy one of those little wooden crates from dollar tree i had adia paint it white for me uh, because i want to put it out here so this is the rub on transfer she will be using to stick on here so we will see how this goes oh it's a little large huh yeah we'll have to sorry. trim it a little um but we're gonna try this on here to see how this works and you guys know you have to rub it on so i will show you as soon as she's done and i'll let you know how it turned out all right so adia you can hold it up and show that we did put use something hard to rub it onto as well and then adia also used her hands mm -hmm. so she's going to try to peel it off That was a big one. Oh, but for the oh. most part, just a few oh, leaves. just a few leaves. That's really pretty. Look at that. So it's just, um, it's probably our fault. Maybe we just didn't rub yeah. it in good, but look at that. Wow. So we could just add the leaves on here. Um, Adia had a good suggestion, right? To make sure that it doesn't rub off. So yeah. what because, would you use? Uh huh. Um, we heard that it comes off easily, but also if you make a mistake, you can just rub it off. But I would put a, some kind of clear coat over it, like Mod Podge or something, just to make sure it sticks. Yeah, but that's really neat. So how cool is that? You could use these and put them pretty much anywhere. I will definitely be purchasing these again. Um, I know this one didn't turn out, but we that was our first try. We never used it before, so now that we know, um, that is... I mean, I know it's missing the piece, but that is the cutest thing ever. I like it. Me too. That's a yay for me. It's also a yay for me. Yeah. And if you mess up, the easy thing is, is you can actually just take it right off. At least that's what I've heard. So uh, I would definitely give those a try. Those are a great score. So those oh. are a really nice find. The leaves came off on my finger. Oh, she has it on her finger. <laughs> All right. Um, we have a few more things, so 
I wanted to try this tropical coconut lip balm. I've never heard of this before. Maybe it's been around and I just didn't know. Uh, but I wanted to try this out for you guys because I know it's there still, well, in most stores anyways. So I want to see how it feels. So it looks like this. It looks like that when you open it up. Oh, wow. It smells like vacation. It smells like a hotel. It does. It smells or like a beach vacation. It smells like those coconut like cookies. Yeah, <laughs> right? So I'm going to try it, see how soft it is. Oh, it's very smooth. Okay, give it a try. You got lipstick on it. <laughs> oh, it is really smooth. Yeah, and it smells really good. I like it. Yeah, that's a yay for me. What about you? Yeah, it's a yay. Goes yeah. Smooth. Smells good. <laughs> that's a good buy. So if you guys can find this and you want a tropical vacation on your mouth, there. You could get this. And if you want to smell coconut cookies every time you do the duck face. That's true. Every time you pout your lips. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. And then the last few things we have are food items. So we're going to try first these tail fins that I hauled in one of my recent videos. So let's give these a try. These are like goldfish kind of. Uh, they're shaped like whales and different sea creatures, so they look like that. Go ahead and grab one. They look like they'd be good. Yeah, so these are our baked cheddar cheese crackers. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. They're very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Very crispy. Very thin. This isn't a bad thing. They taste like actual cheddar, I will say, right? Like yeah. cheese. It also kind of tastes like spray cheese, which I know sounds kind of yeah, gross. Yeah, it does, like a processed cheese. Yeah. Um, all right, so what do you think? They're, so compared to goldfish, they're like, eh, they're not that good, but like by themselves, they're not bad. Like I could eat a bag of those. Okay, so you give them a yay? Right? Yeah, I guess it's a good snack. Like, I wouldn't not, I wouldn't like be like, ew, no, I don't want those, you know? <laughs> okay. All right. I give them a nay, but only because I think I expect them to taste like goldfish and they don't. So I personally love goldfish. So the fact that these don't taste like them <laughs> bums me out. But I, I would say nay for this. I probably wouldn't go for another round of these like I wouldn't grab another box or anything um but I think if you like a cheddar like a cheddary more cheddar flavor um you will like these I don't think there's anything wrong with them I just think that for me personally I just I just don't like the yeah, taste of them they're just not as good as goldfish <laughs> right right sorry about the thunder again still sunny but thundering it's confusing so confusing all right next we're gonna try these swirly bears and this is real made with real fruit juice have you ever seen these before no I've never even heard of them black actually. forest so juicy so good that's what it says all right so these expire October of 2021 is it like just juicy or is it like a gusher I have no idea here take one out we'll show them what it looks like okay. these are these are pretty cool yeah I'm having trouble grabbing one so this is what they look like. Little swirlies. Yeah. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Now just as a heads up, Edia doesn't like gummy snacks yeah. at all. I mean, I don't not like them, they're just not preferable. <laughs> right. Okay, very fruity. A little bit of a different texture than a regular gummy bear I would say right yeah uh, it's like chewier chewier yeah uh, very sweet mm -hmm. so what do you think they're good to me they just taste like any other gummy the texture is good I mean the flavor isn't bad but you know sorry I about the sirens yeah I don't know what's happening but um <laughs> the flavor isn't bad it just tastes like a gummy to me so I guess overall for people it's a yay <laughs> a yay for me too i think they're good they're a good snack 
Um, they are a good texture. I think they don't break your teeth, like hurt to chew them. You know, some gummy snacks, when you chew them, they really hurt your teeth. Yeah, they are very, very so soft. So these are very soft. I like these. I think they're good. Um, I would definitely get them again. I think they taste, I think they taste good. So that's a yay for me. And then we're going to try, we're not, obviously we're not going to eat these like the, the whole time, but we're going to give these a try just to taste them um, and see how they are. We have all sorts of action going on out here today. Yep. Thunder, sirens. The police are arresting the clouds. <laughs> for Motorcycles. the video. <laughs> so here is a strawberry lemonade. So this is the lemonade stand, the lemonade, raspberry lemonade, and strawberry lemonade uh, blow pops, which I've never tried before. Never even heard of them. No. So you try the strawberry lemonade. Okay. I will try the raspberry lemonade. So that's strawberry lemonade. We might be biased because we like blow pops, but mm -hmm. you know, each flavor is different, so. Yeah. So let's see how this is. Very sticky. Yeah, I think it's just the heat though. Yeah. All right. Let's give these a try. That's what they look like. They just standard bowl pop. It's yeah. Just pink. Mine looks the yeah. same. <laughs> okay. Mine tastes like real strawberry lemonade. Does it? Yeah. It tastes like strawberry lemonade in a circle form. <laughs> Yeah, I guess mine tastes like raspberry lemonade too. It does. It has a lemon, like a lemony aftertaste to it almost. Um, and the fruit. Yeah, mine literally just tastes like strawberry lemonade. Yeah, it's good. I give it a yay. I give it a yay too. Mm -hmm. It's a good like summertime treat. Mm -hmm. If you want to have like just a little sweetness, you know, or something. Yeah. Um, these are good. I like them. Me too. All right, so that's good. All right, and that is all we have for our yay or nay series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry there were so many distractions, but we are outside, so we wanted a little change of scenery for this. So um, now is time for the exciting part, the giveaway winners. So. First, let me just say, I know, you know, most people will want to fast forward through this or whatever, but you guys, I literally started this channel with no one. So literally I started maybe with five members of my family knowing I did not tell any of my family. I did not tell any of my friends. Uh, I wanted this to be authentic and I wanted the viewers to actually subscribe that wanted to be subscribed. So Adia can attest to that. She knows that I really did want people that yeah. wanted to subscribe <laughs> to this channel and I would not tell anyone. I still have not told majority of my friends or family yeah. um, because I want the viewers to subscribe because they want to. You know, I don't want to force anyone to subscribe to my channel if they're not going to be ride or die. You know what I mean? So um, the fact that you guys have got me to almost 100 subscribers already blows my mind. Literally, I came back not expecting anything. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. So I came back, wanted to come back stronger, uh, bring you better content, bring you better camera footage and things like that. So I am working still on improving. There goes the sirens again. <laughs> but I am working all the time on improving for you guys. So literally, this is like a second job for me. Um, I am gone like portions of the day so that I can get the newest finds for you and film these videos for you and things like that. So really, truly, it means so much to me that you have subscribed and the likes and you guys are sharing. Like I get notifications that you guys are sharing my content. Um, you know, the comments, it just means the world to me. And I truly appreciate you so much. And I really hope to grow this channel even more. So thank you, thank you so much. And if you guys couldn't tell from that, for some reason, she loves you guys. And every time she hits a little milestone, she's like, oh my gosh, Adia, look, I can't believe it, look. It's true, it's true. And I, 
it's so exciting to me. I am really like checking all the time to make sure I'm commenting back um, when I can. And these sirens, Adia. I know. <laughs> oh my God. They must be sirening for the giveaway, right? So, they're excited. <laughs> hopefully they're okay. I know. Oh my like, gosh. Um, but really, truly guys, it means the world to me. Like I don't even have the words and literally I do check all the time just to see how I'm doing, what I can improve on and things like that. So thank you so much. And I hope to continue to grow and, you know, bring you guys whatever you want. So when I do hit another hundred, which is very soon, I'm hoping, um, I do want to do another giveaway. So I know I just had one and we're doing one now. I do want to do another one for you guys because a hundred is crazy to me. So, um, I want to do another one of those. Also in the comments below, let me know if you want to have me do a Q and a or something. Um, once I hit a hundred or what do you guys want to see when I hit a hundred? Uh, let me know and we can, you know, figure it out together. So, you know, that way I can bring you guys what you're looking for. Maybe you get to know me a little better and I think that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to have Adia pick the winners now. So she's going to pick two winners. And if you haven't caught what the prizes are, check out my last video. There's clips in the last video of what winner number one and what winner number two will get. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have Adia blindfold herself. I have all the names in here. There's nothing to the colors, by the way, guys. We just, that's all we had. That's true. So Adia had a lot left over from school. Yeah. <laughs> so there's nothing with the colors, but they're all in here. I'm going to shuffle them up. They were literally like get index cards and now we literally going to use them all year. <laughs> true story. So True story. We had those. So I'm shuffling these up for you guys. Okay, um, she's not going to look. And... When I do pick a winner, please comment down below that you saw the video. And then I want you to reach out to me at my email address at therealjennysquad at gmail.com. So once I pick your name or she picks your name, um, comment down below. Let me know that you saw that you won. And then uh, send me an email so that I can get your information to send you your prizes. And also, um, if the person doesn't respond within 48 hours, I am going to pick another person. So keep your eye out and make sure that you stay tuned and, and comment and let me know so that, that I know that you saw. And then also email me so I can get your info. All right, Adi, are you ready? Let me shuffle these up real good. Okay. All right, here you go, dig in there. This is, I can't see. <laughs> okay, let's choose somewhere in the middle. Okay, and let's see who we got here. I want to see. Mary Garcia. Mary congratulations. Garcia, congratulations. You are winner number one. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations. That's so exciting. Okay, winner number one. Are Adia ready for winner number two? Yep. All right, shuffling up, shuffle up a little more. All right, let's see. I'm going to shuffle these up here and just a shout out to Adia too. She did help me write all these on here last <laughs> night. So make sure you give her a thumbs up in the video because she helped with the, uh, with the names. All right, Adia, here we go. Okay. Let's pick from the bottom because why not? Okay. Who you got? Who's the ass I said? Shelby's Cray Cray Girl. Shelby's Cray Cray Girl. Cray K. <laughs> Sorry. Shelby's Cray Cray Girl. All right. That's exciting. So you are winner number two. I'm so happy for you. And I know I see Shelby comment on my videos often. So thank you so much. And you are winner number two. So that's super exciting. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know that you saw within 48 hours. If you don't contact me within 48 hours, I am going to pick a different name. So just make sure you uh, comment down below and send me an email. Again, it's the real Jenny squad at gmail.com so that I can get your information to send you your prizes. But look at that number two. Hey. And I have another surprise. I didn't even tell Adia. I'm confused. So the second surprise is 
I am also picking a third winner and it will be for a $5 gift card. So I wanted to show my appreciation for you even more. So I did get an extra one. So I am going to shuffle these one more time. That's five items off. Yeah, five items at Dollar Tree. It is a Dollar five Tree gift card. Free. Yeah. So let me go ahead and shuffle okay. these up again. Oops. And I'm shuffling up. All right. Here we go. We'll pick from the top because we haven't done that yet. Who do we got? We have Sandy, Sandy Joseph. Joseph. You are the winner of the five dollar gift Congratulations. card. Congratulations! Five, five things free at Dollar Tree. Yay! So these are the winners, and oh, I lost the other card. Oh, there it is, <laughs> right here. Congratulations to you all. So Sandy will get the five dollar gift card. You two will get the uh, winner number one and winner number two prizes. Just make sure you let me know. And also, if you didn't win this giveaway, don't worry. I'm going to be doing another one very soon, hopefully. So um, that's coming up. But thank you guys so much. It is truly appreciated. And I'm very excited for you guys. I hope you enjoy your prizes. And, um, you know, that's all I have to say about that so super exciting and thank you so much for all your support and thank you so much for watching thank you adia for being our special guest thank you for <laughs> allowing me to be here <laughs> and i'll see you next time bye guys bye.